Hello, everyone. This is Scotch Merlson, board member, LAUSD, Board District 3. And I am so excited to be here today with the winners of the National Science Bowl. These are the winners from North Hollywood High School in Board District 3 in the San Fernando Valley. And I'm so proud of all of them, including their teacher, Mr. Altair Main. I'm proud of you too, sir. So let's start by um, having each student state his name, grade level, and position in the team. So could we start with you, Albert? Hello, uh, my name is Albert Zhang. Um, I'm a senior and I'm the captain of this team. You are also the team captain on the U.S. biology team, and you are in the International Biology Olympics, and I'm very, very proud of that. My name is Theodore uh, DuPont. I'm a senior um, member of this team. Uh, hi, I'm Lydia Chin. I'm a junior, and I'm also a member of this team, and I primarily focus on chemistry. What? I'm next year's captain. Ah, oh, next year's captain. All right. Uh, hi. I'm Shia Murakawa. I'm also a senior. Uh, I'm a member of the team and uh, I specialize in astronomy. Uh, hi, I'm Eric and I'm a senior and I specialize in earth science. All right, so we all have our specialties. That's great. That's really great. Can you guys tell me what is the science bowl? Is it a is it a national competition? It starts out locally. To, to win their way into the national competition, they had to win the regional competition. So the first round was a, the LADWP Science Bowl, where they beat out, I think, 42 teams to qualify for nationals. Wow. And how many teams participated? I think it was 64 at nationals, although each of those had to win their regional competition to get there. I think I think neighborhood of 1,700 teams around the country. Wow. Yeah, that's Vermont. fantastic. So you guys really are the champs. That is great. Could somebody mention to me how, how is this competition structured? Um, it's a little different, but in normal years, it's like a buzzing competition. So basically two teams go head to head and then a moderator reads questions and the team, when they know the answer, they buzz in. It's kind of similar to Jeopardy. Yeah. And then you score points like that. Yeah. And then, but this year it's a little bit different in that it's not face to face with another team. Basically someone reads the questions and at the end, if you know it, you can uh, buzz and say the answer and you score points that way. You know, you guys are seniors and a junior and you have a busy schedule and you have a life and you're teenagers. So what inspired you to, to even participate and to be part of this team? Science Bowl um, like is a very close community at North Hollywood High School. So I joined because I was first of all like very interested in science, but I was also seeking some community at school. And it was really a nice way for me to make close friends and have some time, uh, like have a way to spend my time after school. That, that's interesting. That's very nice, Lydia. Anybody else? Well, I joined the club uh in the end of freshman year, but North Hollywood has a really club centric community. So uh, a lot of most people uh, in, in this specific program that we're in uh, joins clubs, after school clubs. And um, I mean, I was looking for a club that I wanted to join and something that I was also interested in. And science mm -hmm. was definitely something that I was really into. So uh, I looked for science clubs around the school and I found Science Bowl. How did you feel? What went through your head when you heard that you were the winners? I was certainly very excited. Like when I first heard the announcement, it probably took me the whole weekend for me to really <laughs> process it because uh, you're not like in a place with other competitors. So the, like, the effect of competition doesn't really hit you until mm -hmm. you see like the winning announcement being put everywhere on the internet and then you start to realize it and it feels really good. Uh, I think I realized it when I saw my name on like a Korean newspaper that my parents <laughs> read. So I was like, oh yeah. It was real. Was, yeah, it became more of a real thing for me. That's cool. Well, that's probably because you're such a kind and reserved person, Albert, and that's just you and that's great. That is really great. I didn't hear from Sean. Sean, tell me what went through your mind. It's like basically the same as my teammates. It didn't really hit um, fully at first when I heard the announcement, um, obviously because in an actual competitive setting where you actually go to Washington DC to compete, 
um, you would actually beat the team right in front of you and win the competition. But here you're just competing at home, uh, sitting at home answering questions and hearing the announcement that, that you've won sitting at home is, is definitely different from actually being in person and yeah. hearing it. I hear you, I hear you. Mr. Maine, were you on pins and needles that whole time? Can you be honest with yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I mean I've been there before. This is my third team to make it to the finals. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, it's it's wow. very stressful watching matches. And my last question for all you guys really has nothing to do with science or the science bowl. What advice would you give students who who want to participate or want to achieve a goal? What would you tell them, whether it be for music or for art or for literature? What would you tell them? I guess a simple thing is just to, you just, you just have to sit down and, and, really, and just go for it. Like, it's not going to be completely straightforward. Um, but yeah, like, the, if, if you want to, there's definitely a way. That's nice. Thank you, Theo. Anybody else? Lydia, what advice would you give for someone who wants to enter a competition and achieve a goal? Um, I would say that it can be really difficult and you may feel discouraged at some points because it's definitely not a straightforward path like Theo said, uh, but keep working for it and keep putting your effort in and you'll see it pay off in some sense in the future. Try and try again. I agree with you, Lydia. Try and try again. Anybody else, Eric or Albert or Xi'an? I guess just try to have fun with it. Have fun Obviously, with it. It's yeah. Not gonna be yeah, I definitely agree with Eric. Yeah, I think that like um, in setting a goal, you should also try to make it so that your motivation can be uh, in a large part from like what you're the thing that you're doing itself. Like, and Xian, if you don't win, so you know what, what happens if you don't win? Well, I mean, you've got two options. You got to try again or just give I, up, right? But, I like um, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> But um, like, like if you're really set on achieving this goal and you really love what you do, love what you do, you know, I feel like the only option would be to try again. Well, you guys, I am so proud of you. You are the shining stars of, well, not only Board District 3, not only uh, North Hollywood High School, but the whole LAUSD. We are so proud of you. And you too, Mr. Main. I give you credit too. You're a great guy and a wonderful teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much.